Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Now today guys, we're going to be doing a WWE tier list. And this tier list is going to be the best Monday Night Raw wrestlers all the way from S tier all the way down to F tier. So, or F minus tier. So if you don't know how this works essentially, uh, the tiers go from S tier, which is the best of the best, all the way down to the bottom tier, which is in this case F minus, which is the worst tier, the worst of the worst wrestlers. So anyway guys, let's get into it. First one is AJ Styles, and uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put him in S tier. AJ Styles is one of the best wrestlers in WWE, there's no doubt about it. He's just really, really good. He's really, really, he's just incredible. I really, really like him. Uh, we're going to skip the tag teams, like the member, members of the tag teams till the end. Next one is Alexa Bliss, I'm going to put her in A tier. Reason why is because, I mean, like, she's a great talker on the mic, I've heard, but she's not really a good like in ring wrestler so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put her in a tier and definitely though if she can increase or improve her in ring skills she definitely could be an s tier uh very very soon next one is alicia fox i'm gonna put an f minus tier she's just not relevant anymore guys she's not relevant and quite frankly she's not on raw right now so he's definitely an f, f minus tier baron corbin we're gonna put in b tier main reason why is because he's Probably one of the best heels in WWE right now. Every single time he comes out, he gets a very bad reaction, which is awesome. Like a very negative reaction, which is really, really good if you're a heel. And he's actually a pretty good in-ring wrestler. And he can also talk on the mic really, really well. So I'm going to get Baron Corbin B tier, but definitely could get up to S tier if he just improves some stuff. Next one is Becky Lynch. I'm going to put her in S tier. Reason why is she's one of, she's the best women's wrestler in WWE right now in my opinion because what she's been able to do what she's been able to do with her character is absolutely insane you know since SummerSlam 2018 she's become this badass and honestly I think that she should definitely deserve to be in that S tier category because she's just been killing it recently so I think that she definitely deserves S tier next one is going to be Bobby Lashley I'm gonna put him in this is a tough one because well, I'm going to put him in B tier. reason why is because I think that Lashley, he has some stuff to fix. Like, for example, I think his mic work, it's not really genuine in my opinion. I don't really see him on the mic that much. But, I mean, he is a very, very good wrestler, very good physique. And, honestly, I think he's doing way better than what he was doing. Well, not way better, but definitely I think that Bobby Lashley is a future world champion in the WWE if they do book him right. So, Bobby Lashley is B tier. Next one is Braun Strowman. I'm going to put him in B tier as well. He was going to be A or S tier, but these last couple of months for Braun Strowman, ever since Hell in a Cell 2018, when Lesnar came in and attacked both guys, I felt that he's been on a sharp decline. He's really, actually, ever since maybe he's won the Money in the Bank contract as well, I feel that he's been on a sharp decline because... I mean, he's just, it's the same old stuff with him. He's going to be dominant. It's basically the same old stuff. WWE is not going to make him a new and improved character. And honestly, like, I really like Braun Strowman, but I think that he's not being booked correctly and he's losing matches because of outside interference. I mean, it does make him look strong a little bit, but he's really do, doing nothing compared to what he was doing competing for the Universal title, like, almost a year ago. So... I'm going to put Braun Strowman in B tier because he really has done nothing. Bray Wyatt, I'm going to put in B tier as well. We haven't seen him wrestle, but his, the Firefly Funhouse has been a massive success amongst the, you know, internet wrestling community. I mean, he's really, really good. The Firefly Fun, Funhouse definitely has been really, really good for Wyatt. And the first time he gets in the ring is going to be very, very interesting. But just based off of what he's been able to do, I'm going to put Wyatt in B tier. Next one, Cedric Alexander. I'm going to put him in C tier. He's more of a 205 Live guy. Doesn't really appear on Raw, so I don't know really what to judge him. So we're just going to put him in C tier for now. Next one is Cesaro. I'm going to put him in C tier as well. Cesaro really has done nothing. You know, it's Sheamus is out with an injury right now. Possibly career ending, I've heard. But Cesaro really has done nothing. Like, he's got a new theme song, a new Titan Tron, all that. But I feel that he really has done nothing on the main roster, except being a tag team wrestler for the past two or three years with Sheamus. So, really going to be interesting, though, to see if WWE can book him. But uh, on a podcast, Stone Cold Podcast, 
Vince did say that I, I or something, uh, some podcast. He said that Cesaro, the only reason why he's not WWE champion is because he's not a native speaker and he's not really. I, I heard I heard somewhere around those lines, and I really think that's BS. I think he should definitely be a possibly an A or S tier guy. He should be a world champion, but unfortunately Vince just does not see it that way. Next one's Kurt Hawkins. We're going to put him in the D tier. Raw tag team titles are irrelevant. I mean, well, actually, you know what? We're going to put him back down here because I said we're going to save the tag team wrestlers to the end, but the Raw tag team titles are dead, guys. I mean, it's just, it's a terrible division. There's nothing. It means nothing. It means nothing. So th that's just my opinion. Dana Brooke, I'm going to put in D tier. I mean, like, it's just, she, she's... I, I I don't I don't understand this man like she just she boshes things like she's really been doing nothing on raw she actually could make a take case for F tier but I think that she still has some potential if she can just really work on improving her in-ring wrestling and also maybe some of her mic skills she should she could be pretty good because she definitely has the physique to succeed but I just feel that she's just she's doing nothing on raw right now it's just nothing next one's Drew McIntyre he's definitely going in A tier the guy is insane. I mean, he's just, he's really, really good. They were talking about a future world champion with him. I think that he'll definitely, I'm going to make this claim right now. He's going to become the universal champion or WWE champion, whatever it may be, by the end of 2019. I'm calling it right now. He's going to be the world champion by the end of 2019. I feel that Drew McIntyre is just an incredible wrestler and he definitely should deserve to get a universal title shot and possibly win the universal title as well. So that's my opinion, but I think that Drew McIntyre definitely A tier. Once he wins that world title though, I might have to bump him up to S tier. Next one's EC3. I'm going to put him in F tier. He has done nothing on the main roster. Like he came in swinging when he beat Dean Ambrose, but other than that, he's just been buried to the ground. He's been buried six feet under. Just doesn't really work for him, and I mean, honestly, he's just F tier. Next one is going to be Eric Young, and Eric Young, he's an interesting one. I'm going to put him in, oh, uh, actually, no, never mind. We're going to leave tag team wrestlers. I, I keep forgetting that. Uh, not War Raiders, not, uh, no, not Heath Slater, not Usos. Let's see. Um, okay, Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans is interesting. I'm going to put him in B tier. I'm going to put her in B tier. The reason why is because... This program with Becky Lynch really has shown what Lacey Evans can do. I think she has incredible, she's an incredible in-ring wrestler. She can talk. Her gimmick is perfect for her. I feel that if she wins, if she wins the Raw Women's title, then Lacey Evans should definitely be bumped up to A or S tier. But right now I'm going to keep her in B tier, but she has so much potential. It's insane. So she's B tier for now. <coughs> Next one's Leo Rush. He's giving me an F tier because I, I haven't seen him. I really haven't seen him on Raw these, like, these past couple of months. I haven't seen him on Raw. Hasn't really been a factor, so I'm going to put him in F tier. There's really nothing to describe. Mojo Rawley, I'm going to actually be generous with this one. I'm going to put him in C tier. Reason why is because I think Mojo, I think he definitely has potential with this new gimmick. I th feel that he's been underutilized in the WWE. He hasn't really been used. And I'm just going to put him in seats here because I think he has really good potential. I think that he could definitely can turn his career around, possibly become a mid-card champion such as the U.S. or IC title. But right now, we're going to keep him in seats here. Next one's Naomi. Naomi's another interesting one. Um, we're going to put her in seats here. I mean, she's a former SmackDown Women's Champion. Uh, I mean, she hasn't really been doing much on Raw, but I mean, I don't think she's in the level of like Dana Brooke or these guys or like Alicia Fox. So I think she's a C tier wrestler. That's basically it. Natalia, I'm going to put in C tier as well. Really hasn't done nothing of substance. It's except, you know, facing Lacey Evans a couple, uh, like a month or two ago on Raw for the chance to face Becky for the Raw, Raw Women's title. I mean, she hasn't really done anything. I think it's pretty self explanatory. She's a C tier, C -tier wrestler. Nijax too, I'm going to put in C tier because, I mean, I haven't really seen her, but I think that she definitely does have some potential. She was a former Raw, Raw Women's Champion and, yeah, just a C tier wrestler. Nikki Cross, we're going to put in C tier as well. I feel that she has so much potential being called to the main roster. Her gimmick is perfect for her, and I think that she definitely could succeed on the main roster 
of course, if she can just get the right storyline, she could definitely, you know, be a women's champion on the main roster. I think that she definitely has the potential to be that. Next one's No Way Jose. I'm going to put him in F tier. He's doing... Why would you call him up? He's doing nothing on Raw right now. Absolutely nothing. Why would No Way Jose be called up? I don't understand. He's just doing nothing on Raw right now. I just... Yeah, he, he's F tier. It's pretty obvious. Next one's Rey Mysterio. He just got out with an injury. We're going to put him in C tier because, I mean, he's a mid-card wrestler. He's getting down to the end of his career. I think that he's a definite he's a definite Hall of Famer for me because he really... He was one of the trailblazers for Lucha Libre Wrestling, so... Or Lucha Wrestling, whatever it may be. So I'm just going to put him in C tier. Didn't really do anything on main roster, but, I mean, he was a U.S. champion, so... He's not on the level of, like, EC3, Leo Rush, or No Way Jose. Next one is Ricochet. Um, Ricochet, I'm going to put in B tier. I think that he's done good stuff. Honestly, he had a really good run when he first got called up to, to Raw. But I think now his, his hype has kind of died down. But I still think that, he, that Ricochet, he has so much potential. It's incredible. He killed NXT. So I think that he definitely could be a mid-court champion very soon in the WWE. So I think that he's a B-tier wrestler. Robbie Roode, uh, uh, excuse me, not Bobby Roode, Robert Roode. I'm going to put him in D-tier. He really has done nothing. I don't understand. Why would you change his gimmick? Like, I don't understand it. Why would you change his gimmick? Like, he had it, he had a really good gimmick as the glorious one. He, I mean, it's just, I just don't get it. So, he's D-tier. Next one, Ruby Riot. I'm going to put in D-tier as well. I haven't seen a lot of her right now. Well, actually, no, we're going to put her in C-tier. I feel that she's got screwed by the WWE a few times with losing to Becky or losing to Ronda, I believe, a few times. And to be completely honest here... I think that she deserves more than that. I haven't seen him on Raw, but what I've seen of her, she is pretty solid. So I'm going to put her in C tier. Not going to be too harsh. Sami Zayn, I'm going to put him in C tier. He hasn't done really anything on the main roster, but once again, he's just a great wrestler, man. He absolutely killed it in NXT. He's even killed it on the main roster a few times back in like 2016, 2017. Had great matches with Kevin Owens. Now he's with Kevin Owens, I believe. And on, I, don't, I don't think he's on Raw. Well, actually, he came over to SmackDown a few times. So, what we're going to do is Sami Zayn is going to be a C-tier kind of guy. And that's just basically it. Samoa Joe is B-tier. I mean, like, the guy... I don't understand. In the two or three years since he's been called up, how has he not become a world champion at least once? WWE? In two years? The guy has been competing. He's He competed for the world championship a couple times. He got beat by Brock Lesnar, though, in seven minutes after one of five. I was pissed after that. I'm like, you got to be kidding me because this guy has so much talent. He's an incredible mic worker. He can do well in the ring for his size. He has great agility, great strength. I mean, honestly, he's just a complete package. Like, he's really good, but WWE hasn't booked him correctly. He's a U.S. champion, but really, how much does that matter? So, honestly, Samoa Joe... He's a B-tier kind of guy, but he definitely should deserve A or S-tier at this point because he should be a world champion at least once. That's just what it is. Next one is uh, Nikki, uh, excuse me, Sarah Logan. We're going to put her in C-tier. Or actually, no, we're going to put her down in D-tier. She hasn't really done anything. I mean, she she did so sh show some potential, but she really has done nothing on Raw. I don't think, actually, I don't think the Riot Squad, maybe they're on SmackDown, I don't know, but... I've just honestly given up on the watching WWE, like I only watch it on YouTube because it's quite frankly a you know what show, like it's really bad, but you know what, uh, Nick, uh, Sarah Logan is going to be a D tier. Next one, Seth Rollins is S tier, his in ring work is incredible, I mean he can really, he can cut a promo really well, and honestly Seth Rollins is just one of the best wrestlers in WWE, definitely deserves to be an S tier kind of guy, basically it, there should be no explanation. Next one is going to be, uh, yeah, Tamina. We're going to put her in F- minus tier. She hasn't done, I don't think she's been on Raw. She's done nothing like Alicia Fox. They're basically in the same category with both of them. So, I'm going to leave it at that. Next one's The Miz. I'm going to put him in B tier. I feel that 
he definitely should be a arrest here he should be a world champion i mean he just he's incredible but unfortunately he got pinned by baron corbin in that fatal four-way match and to be completely honest here i just i don't know if wwe's ever gonna pull the trigger on him becoming a world champion but he definitely deserves it his mic work is incredible i think he's better as a heel he basically yeah he's just better as a heel and you know i mean he's just is he has great um mic work his in-ring work is incredible he can really sell storylines really well so he is a b-tier kind of guy next one is titus o'neil he's a d-tier kind of guy i mean i don't have to explain it he's done nothing like he yeah he was the first 24 7 champion he got beaten two seconds by bobby Roode. so you know i mean like yeah it's just whatever so next one zach Ryder's the final guy he's in the same tier as oh actually okay so now we're gonna move on now we're gonna go to the tag teams so aop is the first team here they're gonna go in d tier like what wwe what did you do with this team what did you do with them you made them they were supposed to be beasts coming up to the main roster but they've turned to absolute crap it's incredible the raw tag team titles are dead their reign meant nothing and you have made this team so bad, so irrelevant, it's insane. AOP should be pushed to the top of the tag division, but instead they're stuck They're stuck doing the 50-man battle royal at Super Showdown. Are you kidding me? It's just so stupid. Next one is Hawkins and Ryder. I'm going to put them in the same tier as the AOP. Tag team titles are dead. I already explained this before. It's pretty, it's pretty easy. Next one is the Revival. I think they're C tier. They, I mean, well, actually, you know what? No, I can't do that. Because WWE has absolutely killed them, too. They can call them in 2017. What have they done? Win the dead Raw, t Raw Tag Team titles? They've done nothing. And it's a damn shame because these two guys are incredibly talented. They destroyed it in NXT. That feud with DIY was straight incredible. But they've been turned to like ashes it's insane like they've been so underutilized like honestly even if they went back down to nxt they would be just they would kill it in nxt like triple h knows what these guys are capable of but vince mcmahon doesn't know what these guys are capable of that i mean like you know when the tag team division is relevant you know the tag team division is relevant on raw when hawkins and ryder are your tag team champions that sucks Next one is Eric Young, and I don't think Killian Dane is here. I mean, I think Alexander Wolf as well requested his release, so I actually should do Eric Young. He's C tier. Watch, well, he's uh, we're gonna put him down in F tier. He's done nothing, man. He's done nothing. Next one is Fondango. Considering that Tyler Breeze is down in NXT, we're just gonna put Fondango. Uh, let's do F minus. He's not showed face on TV in a few weeks. He doesn't deserve to be. And, you know, even F tier, he doesn't deserve. So, he's F minus. Next one is going to be, I believe that's Lindsay Dorado. No, uh, that's Grand Matalik, if I'm correct. Yeah, I think that's Grand Matalik. And then that's Kalisto. That's Lindsay, I believe. So, Grand Matalik. I mean, the, oh yeah, Lucha House Party. We're going to put them all in F tier. Literally, they're just there for comedy acts, whatever it may be. Like, yes, they first, they versed Lars Sullivan at super showdown but really like what else have they done next one is going to be the viking raiders you know you should have called them the war raiders but no because wwe doesn't like the word war yeah that makes a lot of sense um they're d tier they've done nothing once again vince what are you doing to this tag team division like what are you doing you made great nxt teams turn into dust and ashes by just calling them up I just don't understand it. Heath Slater, F-. minus. The Usos are definitely B tier. They can put on great matches. Even though they haven't done much in the tag team division, on SmackDown, they killed it. They are definitely a B tier team. They definitely should deserve to be possibly A or S tier. But right now, I'm just going to put them in B tier just to be safe. Next one is going to be Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, aka the Good Brothers. We're going to put them in F tier. Dude, it's just gonna be the same song and dance with most of these teams like even the freaking Connor and Victor the Ascension like, you know, they're they're F tier once again They just Vince. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna repeat the same thing 
because it's gonna get really repetitive with these tag teams, but what's going on? I just don't understand it. So, here's my whole list. As you can see by here, I didn't do Tyler Breeze because he's actually on NXT. He's not on the main roster right now. So, right now, my list is my S tier. Well, actually, we're gonna start from F minus. We have Alicia Fox, Tamina, Fandango, and also Heath Slater. F tier, EC3, Leo Rush. We got Noe Jose, Eric Young. We got the Lucha House Party, the Good Brothers, and also the Ascension. D tier, we got Dana Brooke, Robert Roode. We got Sarah Logan. We got Titus O'Neil, the ALP, Curtin uh, Hawkins, and Ryder. We got the Revival, and also the uh, Viking Raiders or War Raiders. I'm going to call them War Raiders. I don't care what you say, Vince. I'm going to call them the damn War Raiders. C tier is Cedric Alexander, Cesaro, Mojo Rawley, Naomi, Natalia. We got Nia Jax, Nikki Cross, Rey Mysterio. We got Ruby Riot and also Sami Zayn. B tier is Baron Corbin, Bobby Lashley, Braun Strowman. We got Bray Wyatt, Lacey Evans. We got Ricochet. We got Samoa Joe. We got The Miz and we got The Usos. A tier, Alexa Bliss. Well, actually, you know what? I don't think she deserves it. We're going to put her just down to B tier. I think really the only, now that I think about it, the only A tier guy that we have is going to be Drew McIntyre. Then the S tier is going to be AJ Styles, Becky Lynch, and Seth Rollins. But anyway, guys, hope you have enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like, smash, smash five likes. Don't forget to check out my most recent video on the left side of the screen. Also, subscribe to the right and also go down in the description and click on my two affiliate links to Twit to TubeBuddy and BetIQ and also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Take care. Peace out. I'll be back.